it to Cambridge. Um, we, this is our second train for the day. My hair didn't come out too bad. It came out better than I thought. And this is our current journey. It's Cambridge to Cambridge. It's a lot of snow. Yeah, it's not too bad. 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 I didn't record much else yesterday because when we got to the hotel we went straight to Nando's and then we just quickly got changed um, put my dress on and we stretched straight out and then obviously I left the camera in the room um, but now we are now, it's Sunday and we are now in Cambridge and this is all, I think this is the cathedral and we're just having a little bit of walk around before we go to the next part of our evening so I'll catch up with you guys again I'll catch up with you guys again soon and um, hope you're having a good weekend. Um, so this is King's College in Cambridge. And we can hear the bells ringing very much from the local cathedral, I believe. Oh, she walked in front of my camera. Hello and welcome to Monday and my new weekly blog. Woo! Um, I'm actually off work today because, like I keep saying, I've got annual leave I have to use up. Um, so I thought I'd add extra couple of days onto my weekend. So I'm off today and I'm kind of glad I did because I'm just so tired from the weekend. But we all survived um, and we didn't all oh, come back not too worse off for it, to be honest. Um, Apologies for all these coats on his chair. This is his desk. And I've just watched um, the vlog from last week. Because um, I always just review it before Lee loads it onto YouTube. Oh, I you load it onto YouTube. One of us loads it onto YouTube. Um, but before it goes up, just to make sure that I agree with everything he edited when I was away over the weekend. Um, but I'm not going to be able to chat too much loud. Because I'm actually... I'm just sorry, my hair's a bit funny. Because I don't know. I washed it this morning. I let it dry naturally. And my phone's just buzzing. Um, but... I'm just going to go and go and see my nan because I said I'd do something with her today because I've got the day off and I don't, I wish I could spend more time with my nan but because of work that gets in the way in everyday life I don't see her as much, I'll spend as much time as I really like to but I love my nan to death and um, I'm going to go and see her today. I think I'll, I'll leave it up to her what she wants to do but when I rung her earlier this morning saying I used to look today she was like, going to be thinking like, oh, I would do this and she's like, can you take me for my lessons? I was like, okay, because she didn't go out last week, she didn't do a shop so I think she um, wants to go and she used quite a lot of stock of what she had in her fees and stuff so I think she wants to go replenish that and I think we're going to go for some lunch. Um, but we survived the Hindu um, and yes and i think i'm gonna talk to you come back to you and talk to you a bit about it later and how we got on and um i hope you're all having a good monday and i'll see you, to you later bye hello and welcome back um it's now later on on monday um i shortly got just back from visiting my nan um and it was really nice i had such a nice day with her like i got there this late morning and then i was just got back um, I left hers about four and then I've just got back and um, had my shopping and chilled a little bit and now I'm doing this video um, it was really good like I took her to Morrison's and I went to Morrison's as well did a bit of a shop but I don't normally shop at Morrison's so obviously it's not very sure about the layout of it and um, I still didn't get actually stuff I need I got loads I got quite a bit but probably stuff I don't need and then the stuff I actually probably do need I didn't get because I probably missed it or just didn't think straight. Uh, but it was really nice. We had um, lunch there as well. It was really good. I don't know if he's been for lunch there recently, but they do quite a good lunch there. Um, and then I just chilled with her this afternoon. She had, we had cake and tea and just got with her. And it was a really nice day, a really good day off. Especially, like, I didn't want to think too heavy on today because I feel really tired still um, from my weekend away. And um, talking about my weekend away, um, I didn't actually probably notice I didn't actually really video very much. Um, as I said last week, I didn't know if I was going to video much, um, how I was going to do it, how it's going to work out. 
and I didn't. I did do a little short segment from each day, um, just as a sort of touching base, but I didn't really video much, but it was just, I wanted to enjoy the weekend, and I didn't want to um, enjoy it for a camera, especially like on Monday, um, not Monday, why is Monday today? Excuse me. Um, and Saturday, um, we obviously got the train when I left you, I was on the train to Cambridge, um, and then once we got there, we got there a bit earlier um, than we needed to do for checking, what we thought we did, but we wanted to get there early just to make sure we got there in plenty of time. Um, but yeah, we got there, we actually did, the rooms were ready, but we just checked up, jumped, there's four of us um, who went up, it was my mother-in-law, um, the bride-to-be, who's my sister, sister-in-law, and then the other, one of the other bridesmaids, who is the bride's best friend. Um, we, were, we were four who travelled up to get on the train. Dumped our bags there, then we went to Nando's because we were quite hungry because we didn't have no lunch. Um, but we all just had like a wrap or a pizza of each, and then we just showed like a, a large fries. Um, the new halloumi um, start sticks that you can get now, what they have as a star, but you can have it with a main. We had that, and then um, we got some garlic bread as well to share. And then one of the other hens joined us, and she had a wrap as well. Um, and then we did that and the time we were ready to that, everyone else has started arriving and we went and checked in into our other rooms because obviously we had four rooms but we only jumped our bags in one and got ready but it was a bit of a tight screw so I got in, obviously I had my hair and makeup pretty much done so I just touched up on the makeup, put on my dress and we went out. I didn't take my camera with me because like I said I didn't want to lose it or was breaking it and I wanted to enjoy my night. Um, so yes, and now actually I'm not going to show you my dress because it does need a wash. But it's not dirty, it doesn't look dirty, it needs to wash because obviously I wore it. But let's go and show you my dress. So, this was the dress I wore. Same one there, a bit better there. Um, and it's a next dress, I think I got it, I actually did get it in the next sale. Um, but I saw it, I absolutely liked that. But I saw it, I was like, I love that dress. And it just went out where it was actually in the, the next sale. But, and I bet I got so many compliments on it as well. Like, it was like, oh, it's a lovely dress, where would you get it from? It suits you so well. But one of the things, and this is the reason why I'm doing it on the tripod, um, and it does need to wash. <laughs> During the night, I didn't actually tell anyone, and I hope no one actually did notice, because I've always been a bit nervous. <laughs> but it actually had, I'm a bit annoyed because I'm like, it don't happen. But it actually had a hole in it. I don't know how, and I don't, I noticed it sort of not the night, but look, it's got a hole in it. <laughs> right where my bum is. But I did look in the mirror when I noticed it, and you can't, because of the design of it, and the, obviously because you got the pattern, you didn't really notice it. Um, and also I just made sure I didn't bend down too much. And that these were my shoes, or I wore with them. The, I got them from Kurt Geiger, and they were so comfortable and so nice to wear. And I thought, no, I'm going to treat myself, so I treated myself to a nice pair of Kirk Geiger shoes. Um, so I actually wanted to show you my dress and my shoes, because I didn't actually get a picture of myself in my dress and shoes. I actually didn't take many pictures, to be honest. Um, there was lots of phones around and a lot of people were taking pictures, but I took a few, but not that many. Um, but if I do find a picture of me actually in my dress, I'll obviously put, try and put it on here. So yeah, we went straight when we got, we obviously got changed, went out, got a taxi and we went to Revolution and had, um, we did a cocktail masterclass, what I would highly recommend, it was so good. I talked you through everything and I had a few games and we had a forfeit thing and it was this chilli coffee shop, I think like, I think it almost killed everybody, but it was good, um, that was really good, had, had some food with that um, and then we went downstairs and ate even more food and had more cocktails and some Prosecco. And it was really good, like we played some games, um, played Mr and Mrs, where I learned a lot about Samantha, who is my sister's sister law and also a bit about um, my um, mother-in-law. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think I'd be sharing that with Lee. Um, <laughs> but it was a really good, um, good night. And then we went off to the nightclub, what was okay, I'm not really gonna go too much into that, like, I'm a bit too... It was really good, like, I thought of it was really good, but... We were all really tired, <laughs> but it was really nice, and we rolled in about half past two and got into bed about half two, and I was awake. And I, for some reason, my body clock, and I always happens when we go out that I, I get, I fall asleep really quickly, but then I really, I was constantly waking up, and I was like pretty much awake by seven in the morning, so I was 
on very little sleep. But luckily for me, I wasn't actually hungover. And then yesterday, Sunday, it was just a really, I think I filmed a bit that we was outside Kids Across um, College, but we just had like a chilled, we just wandered, then walked into town from the hotel, had a little wander around Cambridge, really nice and chilled, got some fresh air in our lungs, got a bit of exercise, um, and then we went and had afternoon teas, or it's basically afternoon um, so, um, afternoon served by a butler in the buff, um, which we thought it was, but then we were a bit like, is it gonna, is, is it actually a butler in the buff? And they're like, yeah, 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 he just wears a little apron and his bow tie. Um, and then I think like a few people were like, really? And then we got a bit scared, we're like, oh my God. Um, and then it was actually agreed that he'd wear his trousers with his little bow tie and serving us basically with his bow top on and his big muscles. And it was a laugh, he had a laugh, but I think we were all pretty quite tired and didn't really want too much to drink. Especially some people, I don't even think touched their Prosecco, but there was only six of us and it was just really nice. We had a laugh, had a chat with him and then we got the train home and I think we were all majorly <laughs> exhausted and could not really wait to get home. Like I got home last night and just sort of sat on the sofa and was like, hi Lee, and he's like, hi. And he's watching a film and I was like, I bought him actually, I'm going to go over and because he left it down here. He's, he's, he lays on the floor all the time, so I'm actually sitting where he lays on the floor. But that's the nice girl I found, I am. I went away for the weekend and I bought him some fudge. And it's like, and we actually saw this fudge, it's like fudge kitchen. He's like, you looking at my fudge? Mm -hmm. So I've got him some chocolate orange fudge. I actually saw fudge being made and you can taste it. Um, and it's really nice things on the bag. And he's like, oh, thank you. Um, yeah, I think he missed me, but he's only one night away. He had, we live our own lives and stuff, so yeah. He was like, yeah, hi, you're back, have a good time. Came back alive sort of thing. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I'm fine. So yeah, it was really nice, but it was just a really tiring weekend and I had a really, but it was really good. And I think the bride enjoyed herself, what is the main thing. We had a laugh, had a few drinks, and I don't think I want to do it every weekend, but it made me feel like, yes, um, I like going out and dressing up and looking nice. I suppose that most girls like to do that and you need sometimes you need an excuse to do it. But yeah, I hope every, I think I hope everyone had a good um weekend and now roll on the next one I think is in about a month's time. I can't quite believe how long it's getting. Um because I'm actually I'm actually in the process of growing it. Um Probably about just over a year ago for Christmas, not this Christmas, the year before, I started growing it. Um, but it's taken a long time to get where it was um, because I actually had a bob, what's well, that here, but it's a graduated bob, so it was like cut into the back of my head. Um, if I actually can find any pictures of when I had, a nice picture of me when I had the bob, I'll actually do it. But it's taken so long to get there. But obviously, I decided to grow it because I'm obviously bridesmaid. And like my sister in law said, you don't have to grow your hair, like she like the hair can be done to what your hair length. So I've got a bit fluffy there. I'm not meaning to I'm not gonna leave it because I'm just making it worse. Um it's like you don't, but I just wanted to grow it up and I'm gonna just keep growing it. And I think even after the wedding, I think I'm gonna grow it because I just it's a it's a big commitment growing your hair and I think I was like I'm i I've come this far, I'm gonna see how long I get it before I get fed up. Um but yes, another is when I woke up this morning, um I looked what did I do this morning? I can't remember what I did this morning. No, oh no, I did this um, Obviously, when I went to the thing, I obviously look on um, social media. I look on like you. I look on Instagram. I look on Facebook, and I look at them sort of things, um, like most people do in the morning. Um, but one of the first things I want to talk about is I saw the advert for Toy Story Land. Woohoo! And obviously, it's going to be open um, in Walt Disney World. This is in Walt Disney World for when I go in November, and it's obviously opening the 30th of June, I believe. And there was sleep Disney, uh, I don't think it was on Instagram, I think it was on Facebook, Walt Disney issued their video on there for the world and it looks, it looks really good, like everything, I've seen, I've seen a lot of pictures online, I've watched videos on it on YouTube, but it does look really good and I might have said for me, but I, I do like, and I'm not quite excited for the land itself, I'm not the biggest fan of Toy Story, I love, to I like Toy Story, I'm nothing usually, but my Disney's not Toy Story. My Disney's more like other Toy Story. What you'll learn probably going through the videos, my type of Disney. Um, sorry, Jamie, I know I've probably broken your heart that I've said that Toy Story's not my favourite. But I'm actually really excited about the land because whatever Disney do, they always do really well with their lands. You just have to look at Pandora um, and what they want, what they're doing with Star Wars. 
and all the other projects that are actually probably work they're currently working on at the moment and I'm really I'm looking forward to seeing what they do with the land because it's sort of bringing your childhood into reality and I think that's what I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing about it obviously look at the rides the experience and sort of reliving your childhood because I remember watching Toy Story when I was younger so um, it's the big kid moving into the, your little the world you know from when you were a little child and immersing yourself back into it and that's what I think I really like about Disney um but the video I was like oh my god oh my god so I think I got tagged in it actually this morning by my um by Jamie who is loves Toy Story and I think he's probably quite upset that we're going to go and experience it without him but but there I'm sure there's gonna be another holiday when he, he'll be experiencing it and I think they're doing Toy Story Oh, they've already got Toy Story at Paris. We're going to Disneyland Paris with Jamie. Yeah. Anyway, and then the other, let's move on because I don't want to be mumbling on for too long because obviously you obviously get bored of me mumbling on about nothing for too long. Um, and the other one was obviously uh, the Mary Poppins Returns trailer, what is due for release Christmas of this year. And it looks really good because I loved Mary Poppins growing up. Obviously, the original was filmed quite a few years ago um, with Julie Andrews as um, Mary Poppins. Um, but I think I'm hoping that they do it really well because obviously they're not doing it at the much time. But obviously, I think it's Mary. Is it based on Mary? The children's in it. Is their them growing up? Or was their children's? I think so. It's obviously forward, and I'm really, it looks really good. So I'm hoping if you haven't caught the Mary Poppins trailer, you should definitely go and see it. Although I was thinking, I'm not sure if Lee would want to go and see Mary Poppins. So if any of my if my daily cinema friends are watching this, or people I go and watch it, it's, i.e. mostly my mother-in-law and my sister-in-law then we are definitely going to be going seeing that if Lee doesn't want to see it with me um, I might just drag him there because who doesn't like Mary Poppins also I remember so I have a bit of a tendency to do this and you probably noticed it when I was upstairs filming my dress but look I've got my mini mouse jump on today good morning and today is Tuesday and I'm actually ventured out and I'm at Colchester Zoo today um, we actually have um, gold passes, um, but I've come on my own today. Um, oh yeah, I've come on my own today, and um, so I'm just going to have a little bit of wander around because it's dry, although it does look like it's going to rain. Um, and I can just wander around for a few hours, and I thought it'd be a good place to practice doing my vlogging. Although I keep looking at the screen, and I should be looking at the lens. So I'll catch up again soon, guys. Bye. Um, so I'm now in the zoo, and I've just picked up a park map and um, i actually do know my way around this city quite often um quite well because we do come often and this, i'm actually on my third annual pass um but this is the zoo um and it's actually quite a nice zoo really it's not too far from where we live so you can we usually just come for a couple of hours but you can spend a whole day here and i'm probably just gonna have a little quick walk around here and then walk around here because this is when i've got to go away um, they have in this enclosure here they've actually got some hippie hippos and they've actually got a baby hippo so I'm hoping to come and see that today um, and then obviously see what other animals are out and about so um, yes I'll catch up with you guys a bit soon And I could actually spend ages looking, watching the sea lions swim. I find it quite a therapeutic. Um, the dog, eh? um, but it's so agile when they just swim. They look so gentle when they're swimming along. I'm just like, oh. But I rather them be in the water and not me today because it is still quite cold. And I can imagine that it will feel quite cold. But let's move on and uh, find some more animals. Um, I know they've got a baby hippo here, but they've actually got little bee monkeys. They're so cute. 
A minute ago, I was actually cuddling his mum, but now he's got independent and wants to sit by itself. Another animal that I like coming to see at the zoo, and there's one enough, um, is the ringtailed lemur. Look at them all running around. <laughs> there were loads out here when I came through, and I went, as soon as I got my camera out, they all disappeared. <laughs> But never mind yet, you can see some just down there. I think these are like my favourite animals at the zoo, though, is the meerkats. Um, if I could take one home with me, I would, but I know they're not very good pets, so I probably want one for very long. Um, they used to have babies every year, but I think they've actually kind of stopped breeding at the moment um, because they're so, they had so many babies. I think they have to obviously um, keep them under control and not be too many. But I think my baby, the babies are the sweet, the cutest, but um, so many of them all digging around. The only time I don't like meerkats is when they normally eat something dead, like a dead mouse or something. <laughs> and once when we came, Lee actually, um, he actually was like, why are you walking away from the meerkats? You've been spending like ages looking at them. You love watching them. I was like, haven't you noticed what they're eating? And he's like, what? He's like, oh yeah, yeah, we'll come back later because I don't really like seeing animals eating. I, mean, I know it's very natural, but I don't really want to see it, especially when I'm coming to the zoo. See the lion. It's not quite an um, animal kingdom, but you can still get very close to the lions. <laughs> Normally, when we've come in the past, we've been pacing up and down here, or in the inside enclosures just up there, they actually might be like right in front of you, and they're quite, you don't realise how big they are. So they're right next to you. Look, he's looking right at us now. <laughs> Little poser. <laughs> if you ask Lee, he probably thinks so. This is my favourite sort of animal at the zoo. And I love the meerkats, but to an extent, I get a bit obsessed with frogs. I don't like frogs. And if they're behind glass, I like frogs. If they're not, I don't. But you can't really see it. But this is obviously it. This is the um, tomato frog. And whenever we come to the zoo, I always look at it and I think you can just about see it. The, the only thing I've noticed about the comments is you get the reflection off the glass. I zoom in a little bit and then you can see him and isn't he just so cute? Oh, uh, there's something about frogs I love and they're just so cute. Normally I can't always see him and I spent ages going to look for him. He's actually, he's, quite, he's a bit hiding but you can see him today. <laughs> So these are actually pygmy hippos and then obviously there's mum and in the corner there and every now and then they pop their little head up and that's a baby oh. might come out mum's come looks like she's coming out maybe a baby will follow Oh look, mummy's following! Oh, oh, so cute! Mum seems to have gotten the baby behind, but look how small it is. I know they've got hippo at Animal Kingdom, but this baby's so much cuter because it's obviously a pygmy hippo, so it's smaller. Oh, it's actually here now. Might go down and find if it actually walks out and takes some pictures downstairs. See a And here is the tiger having a nice little sleep on top of his perch. Um, this is the animal that Lee likes coming to see when we come to the zoo. And we can't always see them because obviously they have quite a thick, um, quite a lot of thick vegetation in their exhibit. But you can see him sleeping up there. And on this side you can actually see the tiger enjoying his dinner, his lunch. But he's back to us, so I'm going to 
thing. I'm pretty much done most of what I must do on these days. I've had some lunch, I um, once had a chicken wrap, and now I'm gonna sort of start heading towards the exit um, and sort of miss the school rush, hopefully, and then the back rush. Yeah, on that note, I'll uh, catch up with you in a bit. Hi. If I wanna wear a funny hat, then by golly gee, well I'll do that. If I wanna dance a night and day away, that's what I do best. But every now and then when I'm at school and the kids start laughing, well sometimes I wanna cry. The kids say, hey, why can't you be like us? I'm now leaving the zoo and I've had a really good couple of hours here really. I haven't, um, I didn't see all the animals but because we've got, like I said, because we've got the gold passes I can just come for a few hours, see what I want to see and then head home. Um, right, but you can spend as long or as little time as you want to spend at the zoo. But yeah, I've really had a good time and I'm glad I came because I wanted to see like the pig or baby hippo before it got too big. Um, because I don't know obviously when I'm going to come again because um, so I've got some quite busy weekends planned uh, just quickly guys and um, before I sign off for Tuesday um, I just wanted to say that I, I showed you um, a small snapshot of the culture itself um, because obviously like I said I only spent a few hours here but I'm a very big supporter of local zoos um, I know there's quite a lot of very good zoos um, across um, the United Kingdom as well as uh, across the world and I think it's very important to go and visit the zoo and support your local zoo because I think they do very good for conserving um, animals as well in the zoo, not just in the zoos but obviously also in the wild and if it wasn't for these zoos I don't think we have many of these animals around now and for our future generations um, and this zoo is a very good zoo, they look after the animals very much and the animals are their first priority. Um, but I also rec and I very much recommend that if you want to visit a zoo, I know this isn't obviously the local zoo for everybody, but I do highly recommend you get try and visit your local zoo. Um, and I will post a link, um, an email link, not an email, and a website link <laughs> um, to this zoo in my description. So if you ever fancy um, visiting Colchester Zoo, then please do so. And I'm probably not really in the very near future, but I'm hoping that one day I'll be able to do just a one-off video or of Colchester of a day in Colchester Zoo. Um, showing off what is mostly on offer and what you can do but I hope you've enjoyed this video and um, of this little snapshot of Colchester Zoo and, um, and I think it's been a good experience for me as well going around the zoo. I probably wouldn't have done this before doing this I probably wouldn't have gone to the zoo by myself because I haven't done it before and I've had like I said I've had the past for quite a few years but I think it's been really good for me and um, obviously filming on your own in public with the people around you as well and I felt very comfortable at the beginning I was a bit like ooh but um, going around I started feeling more comfortable but it's just obviously getting used to filming <laughs> but anyway again I hope you're all having a very good week and I'll catch up with you probably later in the week now uh, so see you later bye today is Thursday um, as you might have noticed I didn't actually do a video yesterday because um, I got straight home um, when to my hairdressers, I had like my hair done, so I had like my roots done, and then I went to my parents and had a nice chilled evening around there. And then by the time I got home, I just went straight to bed because I was absolutely exhausted, and I'm still really tired now. Um, I don't know if it's just the weekend or just a part, like a combination of things leading up to the weekend, and then the weekend just finished me up because I'm still so tired now, like I'm really struggling. I'm just up in the morning like and most days when I'm going to work I do but I'm even more at the moment and I'm really tired in the evening so I don't really want to do much when I get home hence like today like I just got home and just sat on the sofa waiting for Lee to get home and watch some of the t some TV because there's actually some quite good shows I found um, on Sky or I've started watching and I can't remember any of the names of them but when I do remember because I'm so tired but when I do I will obviously talk about them on here probably later next week or the week after um, but me and Lee have got some exciting news. Um, this evening, do, 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 please, do, 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 me and Lee booked a holiday. Yay! Um, we knew we were going to book it. We've been talking about booking to go on a holiday again, another holiday this year. Um, 
we didn't really plan it but then we had been talking about it um um uh, for beginning of for the first week of june um we're not we're going back to turkey um well, i'm saying back because you don't know but we normally go to turkey every year in, uh for the last how many years and every year apart from one um so yeah we're going back to turkey and we're going back to the same areas we normally do and um, we go to the Dalaman area and we stay in a, t a town called Hisavulu what's near Fethiye and where our hotel actually looks over that famous blue lagoon beach and bay in Turkey um, We've actually stayed at the hotel we're going to stay at before um, when we first went to Turkey, the first choice, and it's called St Nicholas Park. And it's not like you know the biggest star, it's got a quote, but it's a really nice hotel. We've been there before, and it's all inclusive. And we're really, really looking forward to it. And you can tell I'm tired because I just keep mumbling on. Um, but um, we are really looking forward to it. Like I said, we hadn't we haven't really thought that we were going to go back to Turkey. Um, or go on a hol another holiday this year because obviously we've got other things going on but it was kind of apparent that we needed a bit of a relaxing holiday because obviously we went to Florida last year and then we've had other things going on and then we've also got dis two Disney holidays um, planned for Disneyland Paris for a long weekend and then obviously a holiday in November and we just came apparent that we do need a more a relaxing holiday really with everything going on and it's kind of apparent that we do just need to relax and chill and get away from it all. Otherwise, I think we might just explode. Da -da 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 -da. But no, we're really looking forward to it. And um, I hope to give you further details at a later date and my continued countdown, which is actually on 85 days, 21 hours, 33 six minutes, and eight seconds at the time of view of this filming. So we are looking forward to it. And the countdown to our next holiday begins now. Hi, and this is my final video vlog for the week. Um, I'm being a bit quiet because I'm actually staying around um, Sam's this evening, who's my sister's sister-in-law. Um, we've been doing some wedding bits and pieces this evening. Um, I was going to film it, but I thought it'd be a nice surprise um, for the people who might be watching this video and who are coming to the wedding. Um, but yes, it's the end of the week and the working week. I've only been at work three days, but it seemed like a really long week. Um, so. Um, sorry, my, um, I'm obviously staying out and um, Ryan, who is my my brother-in-law, is marrying Sam, um, is actually, is he stagged and he's got a friend staying over and they're a bit loud. <laughs> I don't think they'd want too many beers. Um, so, oh, sorry if I keep getting distracted, I just want to make sure they're not going to come shouting up the stairs or something. So if you can hear them, I apologise as well. Um, but yeah, it's been a really good week. Um, so, I'm still tired and it's not helping because it is actually technically Saturday but I'm obviously going to treat this as my Friday vlog um there's movement downstairs um but obviously I will say but the high lows actually booked a holiday and I can't wait I actually gave him my holiday form at work today and I got it approved and I was like the best of it I knew it was going to get approved anyway because I checked with some, my work colleague who I work with, who I work buddy with, and she's in. So we are that got approved, and it's so, so nice when you're quite in your diary. But I guess I'm out of the office that week, and I look forward to it so much. And now they're walking up the stairs, and I'm going to be very quiet. But, uh, yeah, so I'm actually staying in my niece's. Um, bedroom so it's very nice so thank you Taylor thank you for letting me stay in your room I am looking after why not very well he's gonna keep me company tonight so thank you she probably won't want to see this though because she probably won't do all sort of noise um, but yeah on that note I'm going to say um night <laughs> and thank you for watching this video vlog and remember if you like it to like it and subscribe and thank you for coming to dream with me because you never know where it might lead see you later guys bye people always tell